Check, check. Hey, check. 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 I love that. Yeah, no, it was... Uh, can we was... start with that? Oh, we can. Do, do I know about that? I don't think I do. No, yeah, we were just... um. When we're recording this, Neve's uploaded a GTA episode this morning. Mm-hmm. Right. And uh, there's just a moment in it where I think Neve's and Dora are in an elevator and they're waiting for you and I <laughs> to get there. But they're in the wrong damn elevator. Oh, I remember. Yeah, that. like waiting for maybe a good five minutes for All us right. to get there. Yeah, well, and, then I, and then I dot. get there and immediately take it up. Like, what's going on? Yeah. It's, just, it's just a fun game, uh, fun moment. There's a yellow dot in the right elevator. There's two <laughs> elevators. We had a 50 50 shot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, you man, messed trust up. me. If there was a way for a 50 50 shot to get messed up, it's me. Yeah. Well, we I would it. do it. You weren't uh, there. So, uh, so, Sunken Land. Mm. We've had our eye on that for a while since the 80s. Right, and it's yeah. finally come out. Who's played it? Just me? Uh, I think just you. I want to play it. Okay. Um, there's too many games right now, man. Yeah, it's, 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 it's absurd. Yeah, this one like looks like something I really like to play, and, and I did. Yeah. I enjoyed it. Um, uh, it. Tell me a little bit about it because yeah, surface level. I saw, I watched the trailer. It's like, oh, it, this is Waterworld if it were a game. Yeah. Like, let's take let's take Waterworld with Kevin Costner and uh-huh. let's take a survival game and let's make a cute little. Cute little survival game, baby. It's a lot of stuff you're used to. You spawn on an island, right? And then you gather wood and right. some. You just like a find some stuff, find some food. Classic. You'll uh, make a little and a little axe, build a little house, right? Classic. Um, but you look around you and there's islands everywhere. Okay. And then you look in the menus and there's these factions or whatever they call them. You got like this kind of pirate and these kind of uh, mutants and these other people that enslave people mutants. or whatever. Mutants. Yeah. Okay. Well, could kind you of, free slaves? Uh, Can you help people liberate liberate the oppressed? I don't know. I don't think so. Ugh. I think they're just known for enslaving people. That's Good their question. That's okay. their thing. Mm-hmm. But yeah, you, you do a lot of swimming in the beginning. And then you want to get to where you build like a research table and build like a little paddle boat or something. Yeah. Then you start venturing out. Start exploring. And they're shooting at you. Like you, don't, you can't get too close to those islands. Okay. So oh, so those islands are owned by other factions, like every one of yeah, them? Yeah, and it kind of tells you where they are, and you can look up on the map kind of read about them a little bit. Oh, they're right. like, stay away from our resources. They don't like you. No. From what I've seen. Okay. But there is a trader island. So you can go to the, you know, so this game reminds me a little bit of Seven Days, kind of a blend of a lot of stuff. Okay, so blending of Seven Days in what way? Where you're harvesting things, you're, when you're going on these islands, you're getting coconuts and wood? Well, you're... <laughs> with your axe? <laughs> Come on, what are you doing? It reminds me of Seven Days because of the traitor, okay. but the traitor is, like, when I interacted with the traitor, I'm like, ah, oh, I'd like to have that, and I bring it down, I don't see a price. And then I've got, like, a little little slot for me, and I start dragging things down, and, and she's like, that's not enough. Like, just keep bringing it. Barter, you know? the barter. So, yeah, you're just adding stuff to it. I don't know if money's a thing later, but, uh, yeah, it has a traitor, and also, you're getting attacked quite a bit on your island. So when it's I like first a horn. Started, oh, yeah. All right. Like these little mutant guys are coming over. I don't know if the other factions are coming over too. Luckily, it was just the mutants who were kind of primitive, and they gotcha. were attacking yeah, my what, base. What, uh, what are your weapons, at least early game? Bow and arrow. I made a, a spear, I spear. think, okay. uh, a, a crossbow. Oh, all right. And um, See, I didn't get too far. I've heard that this is the next big thing for Neeb's gaming. <laughs> I would like it to be. Yeah, I really See? had fun playing. Okay, that's uh, a big statement there. Do you always spawn in that uh, in that same spot, as far as you know? I don't know. Mm. I just I just played the one game for a little bit of time. How many hours did you play? I don't know. If you two. Were to guess. Okay. Maybe two hours. The old oh, tasty yeah, just, two. Just enough to just get like a little surface level. Make a spear. A little experience. Yeah. Float Make around. Died a couple times. When you die, you uh, go back to your bed or wherever. I think. Uh, All right. So, yeah, that works. So you got to put bed rolls down. Yep, you drop your bag. You got to get back to your bag. All right. It just came out, so uh, it's uh, it's something they're absolutely going to keep adding stuff to. And it was what? So far, you know, like a little buggy, but apparently not is not like too buggy to not play. I don't know if I've encountered any issues. Which to is think. A, that's a good sign in two hours. Yeah, I didn't really have any issues. Oh. What's the coolest thing we've seen that you can craft in that game, whether it was via the trailer or something like that? Have we seen like how um, elaborate things? Like, I, can... I know in the trailer I saw jet skis. That's what reminded me of Waterworld. There I was like, go. okay, yeah, yeah, they're going like you can craft and make jet skis. That seems like game something you'd around. want. Yeah. yeah. Now, graphically, you know, I've only seen the wide shots with my old eyes. So. You, would you say that it's better than Raft? More detailed? Very well, different. Raft is kind of cartoony. It is, isn't it? So it's not cartoony, it's more real? I mean, How about it, compared to Seven Days, then? It looks a little more like Rust to me, graphically. Okay. Which I like the look of Rust. 
And it's more, it's obviously realistic looking, meaning goes for the realism. Yeah, less cartoony for sure. And, um, but I wouldn't say it's like, it's not like as detailed as grounded or something. Mm -hmm. Right, which is a hard cartoony, but, uh, yeah, battle, like, like, um, battlefield. Yeah, not, not that much. Yeah, it looks good. And the water looks great. Like when you're underwater swimming around and you're coming up and you're looking at the sky, the little ripples in the water, it looks really good. All right. All right. So about the water then, what about uh, the things that you, because like in Raft, there wasn't much that you could harvest in the water at all, right? Or there was, but it, was, it wasn't it like... Was, uh, yeah, you you just dragging shark. stuff out of the water. Yeah, yeah and dragging stuff out and of the water. And... Sunken Lands to me is nothing like Raft gameplay-wise. Okay. Um, so what? you're on an island, basically, and you got to go into the water, because under, under the water is like the world's flooded. So you might look down there and there's a highway and cars and buildings and you got to swim down in the cars and like scavenge them for uh, scrap metal. Oh, that that's the thing. Mm-hmm. So you're mm-hmm. harvesting components. stuff all throughout the water. Yeah. Sunken cities. And it looks like you got to, I saw there was like a medication that helps you stay underwater longer, hmm. some sort of pill or something, but I, I assume you're going to build equipment to allow you to explore deeper. Damn, and, so you don't have gills like Kevin Costner did? I didn't see no gills. Damn it. Mm-mm. You had gills? I was, was going to be a mutant. That was a big twist. Oh, that was. Spoilers. That was fun. Don't oh, yeah, spoiler. This. Sorry, if oh. you haven't seen Waterworld. Oh, goodness. Ooh, ah, after sorry. 35 years old, I think you're allowed to do spoilers. He had a buddy named uh, Gil. Yep. He did. Oh, wow. <laughs> First name Vince. <laughs> that is a fun movie, though. I watched it probably last right. Man, yeah, it got ripped on year, so like, much. Yeah, this is, this is, it, it's dumb, but it's yeah. dumb fun. Could you imagine working on that production? <laughs> Didn't, Dude, that was wasn't a, that one of the most expensive yeah. movies ever made? At that because time, they it built was, the set. And a hurricane came through and knocked it all down. They had to rebuild the damn thing. Oh, really? Wow. So it was yeah, a flop, the, too. The budget. Yeah, that's the thing. The budget was, like, super high, and then it just bombed at the box office. Did Nobody it? wanted yeah. to see Waterworld. It. Yeah, it was a flop, Everyone though. here watched it, right? No. Yeah. Not not in nope. theaters, no. no. I don't think I saw it. you've watched it. No. Nope. maybe I've I seen did. it since. I've seen parts of it, and just in cable, cross, in passing, and I was like, oh, this is Waterworld. I heard it was a big flop. Yeah, yeah. I wonder if it's like, what did it come out around? Surely I would say like 90s. You'd like 90s. Yeah. yeah, it was 1995. So yeah. I wonder if like, oh, is that like, that's around like Jurassic Park and I don't know. Oh, I was trying was to think a... like, what was, uh, what was its competition in and the theater? Titanic. Was it Titanic? Well, I don't know. It was around that time when Titanic. Well, listen, yeah. well Titanic Kevin, came out later, I think. And Kevin Costner was massive. And the fact that it flopped. And he, and he should was have been. so big. Okay, yeah, wow. So it collected a total of twenty one point six million and had a budget of hundred and seventy two million. But what's it made today? Nineteen ninety five. Like today. What's it made today? I don't know. Yeah, but Oof. They, let's say no matter what it's made today, it's been still considered a complete flop. No, okay, what? Well, after factoring home video sales and T V broadcast rights among revenue streams, Waterworld eventually became profitable. Eventually. So it eventually got there. Yes. But it wasn't like the big, you know, it's not what they wanted. All yeah. the money they spent. There was no Barbie. No, no Barbie. No, good God. Not Barbie. at Man, all. Barbie was, got all the money. It was, like, so I, did it, was it one of you guys that said that they went to like Barbie on a Wednesday night and it was sold out? Yeah, and me. Just like, you. Yeah, I wanted to go see it. And it was like, oh, well, I'll just walk up to the theater and buy a ticket. Sold out. And this wasn't yeah. opening week. This was like. No. Yeah, this was like weeks later. Wet many. Damn. On like eight o'clock on a Wednesday. Oh no! Right. Like what the fuck? Mm. So man, they are killing it. Yeah. Great movie. Great movie. Yeah, I, I want to see it. Still mm-hmm. Yeah, I quite enjoyed it. Me too. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> and <laughs> how? Uh huh. Mm-hmm. We should make Aqua World. Yeah. yeah. What were we talking about first time? Aqua World before we went down fucking Water World. Water World path before we went down the oh, path yeah. of Water World. We were talking, we're talking about Sunken land. land. Okay, that. Sunken land. <laughs> That's what the title of Jesus. the podcast yeah, is. Yeah, no, I'm just, yeah. You lost the, you Let's lost go the back one. to it. Yeah. yeah, I did, because I have attention deficits. Do you know that apparently when when people have whatever it is that I have not taken a test for before, work apparently constantly in fight or flight? Oh, that makes sense with you. It does. Mm, yeah, I can see that. But mostly fight. Yes. Yeah, a lot of fight. <laughs> Yeah, because, and then, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 maybe yeah, it's fight. Yeah, fuck yeah, yeah. Fuck fuck you, fuck you, fight. <laughs> yeah, no, there's flight, too, remember? Oh, no, yeah, I mean, I, that's oh, it, sure. I'm, done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm out. out. Oh, yeah, no, there's <laughs> definitely flight. <laughs> A little bit of both. <laughs> and you go, that's it, so. So is uh, that, you said that is a symptom of someone with ADD? Yes, and also be just being so all over that that was 
that was 20 thoughts ago, even though it just happened. Right. So Dr. Simon has uh, yeah. given a self. Uh... I, I, no, I've been I've been like, all right, no. Somebody said, hey, it sounds like you are, but go get tested. It's going to cost 1500 bucks. And I'm yeah, like, get nah, tested I'm for good. ADD? Yeah. yeah. That's where you fight or flight. Yeah. 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 No, I, said, I I'm done. You. I'm, fl I'm Fuck flying. You. Fuck, Fuck you. Fuck you. I'm flying. That's it. Thank you to our sponsor, Rocket Money. They're awesome. And Rocket Money is a personal finance app that monitors your spending, helps you lower your bills, and they find any and all of your subscriptions for you. And as I'm sure you know, subscriptions can be tricky because more people than not have subscriptions that they've completely forgotten about. And for any of those that are found, Rocket Money can easily cancel them for you. And Rocket Money has just saved me money again. I was being overcharged by 15 bucks a month on my phone bill for a line that was supposed to be canceled. And I was being charged for it for three months. But because I noticed it pretty soon, I got refunded no problem. And that could have went on for another year if it wasn't for Rocket Money. They make it so much easier for me to stay on top of my bills. It's great. And that's why you should check them out. So please do yourself a favor. Stop throwing away your money. Cancel unwanted subscriptions and manage your expenses the easy way by going to rocketmoney.com slash nebs. That's Rocket Money. Dot com slash Neebs. Rocketmoney.com slash Neebs. No, this is other people. Anyway. The, uh, Sunken Land. Yeah, I like uh, it so far. Okay. And if it's, you haven't checked it out, check it's it out. It's obviously multiplayer up to how many? Do we know? Uh, I have no idea. I think it's like a lot. I don't know. A lot of players. I think now, all of us can get in there. Uh, I'll check. I'll check. Let's confirm right, this. Would you say, so me looking at it, the little bit that I've seen, you know, trailer-wise and stuff, it just kind of made me think that where you're going to live is on the boat. Nope. Okay. On so land. that's good. So you really, the boat is just your back and forth. That's what would always connect me to raft with yeah. it. I'm just going, you're living on that. That's what it is. But when I got to the point that I could build a paddle boat out of scrap metal, I was yeah. like, oh yeah, now we're talking. Cause now yeah. I'm not in the water. Cause there are sharks. Yeah. Um, and then the paddle boat has a storage uh, chest on Very the nice. So like, okay, now when I'm looting, I can start throwing stuff in there and I don't get in. It's a big step forward. Yeah. Eight players. Excited. Eight. Okay. Eight. Man, that's enough. I wonder if you can eventually, um, if you can make uh, sea dews and shit. I'll bet like um, little personal submarines and stuff are possible. That'd be neat. I hope you can make mm. a seaplane. Oh. That's what I also think of when I think of water world. It's like, yeah, I remember jet skis and seaplanes. Mm -hmm. mm. And uh, maybe you can make Dennis Hopper. Yeah, <gasps> that'd be great. Mm -hmm. Great if, if we could Dennis make Dennis Hopper. Hopper. He's always yeah. good in a in a film. Mm. Is he dead? He's got to be dead. Yeah, he's got to be. <laughs> I'll look it up. <laughs> I want to <laughs> say yes. I want to say I, yes. You know what? I'm going to say he's not. You know what? I'm going to say he's not as well, even uh, though I he believe he should be. He died in 2010. Okay, he's dead. Yeah, oh, my God. Dead as they get, it's really. For, um, <laughs> what a fucking time. <laughs> hey, he was the best Bowser. Sorry, Jack. Yeah, Black. I guess so. He was the best Bowser. And speaking you guys all heard that, about. Yep. Speaking of that. Jimmy Buffett. Yep. Jimmy. Yep. Oh, boy. Man, I watched... Uh, Vic would have thrown a fucking he party. He would have partied all night. <laughs> he would have, right? And then I, I watched maybe uh, one of his first interviews, and I only saw like maybe like two minutes of it, but he was just telling a story about how he wrote his... You know, I guess, you know, he was down on his luck and broke and just feeling like ass and wrote this song, and then this one particular song was the one thing that kind of yeah. changed his whole life. He's like, everything was everything was just going to shit. And he was just like, this was all screwy. And then I wrote this song, and this song turned everything around. Nice, happy and then, song. And then it's he wild yes, like do, yeah, yeah. sang the song, and I went, you know what? I like this son of a bitch now. There you go. <laughs> I mean, yeah, he was a go-getter. I guess he, sure was. he worked uh, like for a, like a record company or something like that. And um, just kind of had those aspirations. Like, uh, yeah, he went for it. And, and again, Vic made fun of it. And I did equally. Oh, yeah. I don't his like his voice music. Is like, yeah. <laughs> yeah just, but he kind of created a genre. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's like beach that pop. Island. Whatever, yeah, yeah. Whatever the fuck they call Trap it. Rock. But, yeah, is Trap rock. Yeah. Is that it? That's what they call it. Tropical right? rock. That's trap what rock. the fan base came I up with. I think trap yeah. rock. And there's trap a lot rock. of trap rock bands that emulate his sound. Yeah. Ultimately, it just seems like the overall vibe of it is just happy. Oh, enjoy, for sure. Yeah. yeah. Chill. Yeah. And he, and he Hard to hate that. Hard yeah. to hate that. That community and a tailgate, there's yeah. nothing like it. Yeah. <laughs> the way Thick would always be like, this is how he talked. <laughs> but, but he did. Hey, everybody. Like, <laughs> friends to the left. He said, <laughs> salt. Great we, for him to say that. But he, no, he, he could sing. 
The guy could sing. He could, yeah, he could. I mean, I mean, yeah. he could pull yeah. it he off. He sings a lot better than me yeah. and thick. I think to there was the nothing. Um, yeah, his voice was just. <laughs> it was Jimmy's voice. It was Jimmy. You know? exactly. It's like okay, Jimmy Buffett sounded like Jimmy Buffett. Yeah, it's like yeah, he could sing like Jimmy Buffett. Like Jimmy Buffett. He, he his songs are an fun, empire. and his songs are songs that everybody can sing. Because you don't have to have a great voice to jump in. That, exactly. And there's that, too. Yeah. The simplicity of it. It's yeah. a, the, the simplicity of his songs and his music is what, what sure. made him famous. It inspired Beach Burger and Burger Beach. I mean, Which, it had to be good. Yeah. Well, that wasn't going to happen without him. No, right? you're right. You're right. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> and I <laughs> love that thing. song. <laughs> well, I'm a salty little sailor with some busted up flat flops, a mustache, and a hunger for beef. I'm not a city boy, and I stay away from the country. Spot on the beach. Now these are keywords that I use to make my fan base go crazy. Don't even care, I really can't sing. Furs and salt flint flops, fins, beach, fins, salt flops, flops, fins, salt, fins, beach. That's my favorite <laughs> yeah. fucking song. I didn't realize, I guess he knew Mel Fisher somehow, and Mel Fisher's the guy that found like a shit ton of like old Spanish doubloons or whatever sunken <sighs> off the Florida coast. <laughs> Okay. Really? Uh, yeah. If you ever go to Key West, there's a museum there called the Mel Fisher Museum, and it's all about this guy, Mel Fisher, who did his research and found this old sunken Spanish galleon just loaded with treasure. And then from that, the ensuing fight with the Spanish government, our government, ah, and him. Okay. Really? It's, yeah, it's interesting. I'm sure. Because, I mean, you know, as soon as he found the treasure, everybody, you know, our government's like, well, that's ours. And the Spanish government's like, no, that's ours. Hold on. He's like, like a... no, it's mine, and it's the legal battle from okay. that. So is fascinating. Finders keepers isn't a thing. It should be, it should but be. not not according yeah. to our United Which States is, government because you bullshit. found it in their waters. Oh, it is bullshit. I mean, it sounds like a good docu series. I wonder if uh, Jimmy wrote a song about that. He might called the Blooney Bin. <laughs> Walking down on the boat to Blue Found a bunch of Spanish galleons at the bottom of the ocean. Pulled them up with my equipment. They're telling me it's not mine. They're in the Dablooney bin. Yeah. But if you ever say yeah, somehow, hold on. I want to look at that connection between him and Mel Fisher. Because Man, we're a lot of searches yeah. today. Look well, at curious. you over there. Uh, look, and, I like searching. And, in the meantime, like you know, like Paul McCartney had some very nice things to say he about did. Mr. He Jimmy quite Buffett. Liked the I saw that. Yeah. You know, because saw a little. Little picture and nice words. I said, "Man, Jimmy's hanging out with Paul McCartney. He yeah, no slouch. No, he got around. You know, everyone with a boat wanted Jimmy Buffett on their boat. And mm -hmm. I bet he was on a lot of boats. Bet she was. Jimmy, come on our boat. Yeah, and no one would complain. Jimmy would constantly shit on your boat, like yeah. not in the toilet. And then shit they on the floor, like not the clean pirates. it. Yeah. He'd be like, "That's that's the this is the 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 duty, like you know the the tax. You eat the that duty. many beach burgers." Yeah. <laughs> right? You just go whenever you want. <laughs> but I went to a few Buffett concerts um, years ago with my friend Chris. And, yeah. uh, man, you really could show up there with nothing. Because Chris was a big parrot head, wasn't he? Yeah. And uh, I can see why. Because you could show up there with no money, no food, no drinks. And annoy the shit out of people. And <laughs> No. <laughs> it wouldn't matter. Everybody you saw was like, hey, do you need a drink? Do you need a burger? You need, you know, yeah. they just hooked you up. Yeah. All right, yeah, looking it up, I guess the like j the Buffett family was just friends with Mel Fisher. Like they just knew each other. And then Mel Fisher, it, I'm looking at a photo right now of Jimmy Buffett and Mel Fisher. And this is like the day after Mel Fisher uh, pulled in about seven hundred and fifty million dollars worth of treasure. Holy shit! Off of the coast of Key West. Oh, he's and a, now, oh my God, he's a big name to you, Absir, and I'm finding it interesting because none of us have ever heard that name in our lives. Mel I Fisher. I don't think any of us no. have been to Key West except for Absir. That might be it. Yeah, he well, that's, yeah, I've been to Key West uh, several times. I yeah. love Key West. So and Mel yeah, Fisher, and yeah, just going into that museum and listening to that story down there. He's yeah. a legend, apparently, in, in Key West. Yeah. Let's just hope, for thick sake, that Jimmy Buffett didn't like score a, a gig in heaven to, <laughs> to be playing like every Thursday or something. There's a lot of people like <laughs> thick was really about... enjoying heaven until <laughs> until fucking Jimmy got up. Hey guys, I'm here! Oh, God shit. damn it! Fuck you! <laughs> shit! Shit! <laughs> and thick went with us to Margaritaville back in Myrtle Beach. Oh yeah, yeah, he did. Yeah, it was that was great. He loved it. Oh God! <laughs> I hated that place. Yeah, that really sucked. And that uh, particular time there seemed to suck 
extra <laughs> service wise kind of oh it yeah. did the service yeah. was awful oh yeah you couldn't get service because they were off running around dancing singing watching a blender yeah. spin around they gotta yeah. stop and sing every 15 minutes yeah. so no one gets their food <laughs> crazy they're walking around on stilts a few of them yeah it was it was it was silly and then i learned that that um it might be the only margarita with a margarita bill with a blender like that the little hurricane thing. Yeah, like I just assumed after seeing that one that that was just that's how they all yeah, are, but it's yeah. not the case. They no, went, Myrtle they went extra. special. I yeah, guess. They went extra for Myrtle Beach. A little bit. Yeah. yeah. What a it's spectacle. Just... <laughs> Jim Cantori. And our tables were weird too. They were. They were shaped so weird you couldn't sit flush with the table. They were like angles and they were crooked. Yeah, and... weren't they like they were shaped like a boat or something? I don't it was know. just like why would you shape a table like this? It was this? like so. Imagine you're at a at a regular table. We're on an island. And then you pull your chair. <laughs> you pull your chair around to the mm-hmm. corner. Yeah. Where the point's just sticking you right in the belly. Yeah, that's fun. That's like Getting everybody's impaled. seat. <laughs> yeah, that's that's awful. But look on the bright side. Thankfully, the food sucked, too. Oh, yeah. The food was really bad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The service was bad. The food was bad. The ambiance was bad. The yeah. fucking design and decor was fucking yeah. awful. The company the was The weather horrible. outside was pretty shit. The rest company was peace, awful. Jimmy. Everything was yeah, rest yeah. in peace. Yeah, we still Thank respect you. you. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, man. I mean, no. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> Absolutely respect his business acumen. Yeah. yeah oh, God. Sure. He made money. Yeah. Good guy. He printed money. He seems like a guy where all of that, probably like someone who, whoever helped him with Margaritaville's, the franchise he was probably constantly surprised like oh wow it's real doing good <laughs> i'm getting my wow okay yeah like, you probably didn't know i well there's oh god I'm going back to key west but there's another restaurant in key west i used to go to it was, it was a, a jimmy buffett's bistro oh. and the food in this place is actually good it's probably my favorite breakfast in key west okay um but last time i i went the jimmy buffett name had been scraped off it was just the bistro now. Like, oh, what's going on? Why did why'd they take the Jimmy Buffett name off? Yeah. And apparently uh, people were showing up thinking it's a Margaritaville. Mm. There was just brand confusion because people were coming up. It was like, where can I get a cheeseburger? But he wasn't associated at all? Someone? No, this is like, it, it's in his uh, hotel. Okay. So, so Jimmy was. Buffett's hotel, all right. downtown Key West, yeah. and they like right get... near Mallory Square. And there's a restaurant attached <sighs> to it. It used to be called like Jimmy Buffett's Bistro. Yeah. Yeah. And then, yeah, just brand confusion. People showing up thinking it's a Margaritaville. Ah, people are dumb. Yeah. But it's still his place, still the same yeah. food. They just changed the they name. They just say they got rid of his name yeah. on the restaurant. Because people are dumb. To get rid of confusion, yeah. Yeah. It wasn't like Bimmy Juffets. Bimmy no. Juffets. Uh, <laughs> Margarite's town. <laughs> Margarita Palace. <laughs> right. Again, the aqua world. Mm. <laughs> It'd be fun to just take restaurants and switch the letters like that in all of them. Yeah. <laughs> just see what we can get away with. Carker like, Bang. What was that? Uh, th- what was that Nate for your th- that Nate that helps people when he did the rebranding of the oh uh, Starbucks Nathan for you? But it was called what was it called? Oh yeah, Nathan for you. He did right. a Starbucks thing, and I think there was a cease and desist kind of a thing going on, but um. Bar he, he made it called like it was called like bad Starbucks or something. <laughs> <laughs> It was that simple as a bad Starbucks? <laughs> yeah, something like that. Jeez. I don't remember it. Yeah, they had a problem with it, apparently. <laughs> yes, I wonder why. Right? I gotta, look, I gotta see what that Same logo there. and everything? It's pretty close. Like a green mm. kind of... <laughs> okay. Hey. Thank you to our sponsor, Liquid IV. And as you know, keeping yourself hydrated is a must. It's not just important for athletes or people training for marathons. Proper functional hydration is essential to your body and absolutely affects how you feel every day. And Liquid IV is the number one powdered hydration brand in America. Their hydration multiplier is a game changer. I find myself on a regular basis knowing I have not done my job keeping myself hydrated. And that's no good. I find it easy to forget to drink water for half the day. And water is mostly what I drink. So I use Liquid IV to catch me up on what I know my body needs. And on top of hydration, every packet gives you vitamins B3, 5, 6, and 12, and vitamin C, along with three times the electrolytes of leading sports drinks. And if I'm planning a night out, I take it before I go out and the next morning. And it makes a world of difference for me. And strawberry might be my favorite flavor. It's hard to tell. They've got 12 flavors to choose from. Liquid IV, real people, real flavor, and real hydrating. 
Grab your Liquid IV in bulk nationwide at Costco, or you can get 20% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use code NEVES at checkout. That's 20% off anything when you shop Better Hydration today using promo code NEBS at liquidiv.com. But uh, anything else with Sunken Land that we you think would be good to know? Oh, yeah. Because... I want to play uh, eight players so we could all get in, no problem. Yeah, we're looking in to see if we can film it the way we normally film stuff. So if that that works out and, yeah, um, and yeah I it's I so new they're gonna keep working on it i mean right now i'm looking on steam there's like a list of what their their roadmap and the shit they're planning to do right is uh, it like monthly or oh, like they're or gonna like, introduce a system where players can claim and hold islands occupied ooh, by enemies that was one of my questions ooh. like if i go and attack these enemies can i take over this oh yeah so they're gonna introduce some it. sort of territorial control system yeah, that's, that's fun that's that's that important. It seems very, yeah. very important. You don't want a respawning enemy after you've like cleared it. It's mm -mm. kind of yours now. You should be able to lay claim. Uh, does it does it have dates on there on when they're thinking or just the list? No, of... it's just yeah. It's it's what they're working on. Mm -hmm. it's just, it, it, it it comes when it comes. It was uh, called Dumb Starbucks. Dumb Starbucks. Okay. <laughs> yeah. oh, I will say this. This was the one thing that ir irritated me about the game. Okay. I didn't try for a super long time, but like fishing to me was just like I was like, nope, okay, I've oh wow, that bad. I've uh, I eventually just set up a fish trap that worked pretty well. But yeah, it was like it was happening so fast. Actually, I didn't look at it yet. I uh, shadow played the fishing because something would pop up, and before I could even figure it out, the line already broke. I was like, all right, let me try again. Mm. I just I don't know. Either I'm horrible at it, or they need to adjust the fishing. But everything else, I loved. Okay. All right. Duly yeah. noted. Maybe there's just a setting on the fishing. Yeah, that's well, that's important for a game like this. It has to have a good fishing mechanic. You'd think like they really need to work on that if that's an issue. Yeah, because, especially. Oh, go on. Oh, you're saying yeah because of its setting. Like you need to have a good damn fishing mechanic in this type of game. Yeah. So did you notice that eating would keep you satiated? Is that the right word? I had to eat a pretty good bit, but um, I think as you get going, I don't know if there's different recipes but setting some fish traps water's a thing too you have to purify your water okay so but i think you find ways to do that quicker nice but yeah i don't want it to be like raft on normal or whatever that oh, was aggravating the food drain and raft horrible. yeah horrible. so i would so obnoxious so is it raft or not raft it's not that bad is it close all. i don't not think at all so. good good that's all <laughs> it needed that's very important it is but you got to drink 50 gallons of water a day and raft. No, raft. Yeah, <laughs> and same thing with food, too, man. Mm -hmm. Like, a like food. you know, nine fucking whatever fish, steaks before lunch. Yeah. You know, like, otherwise you're you starving. You could eventually get to the point where you have the recipes and cooking and all that. But, yeah. It was, and then it was... The, the drain was, was way too quick. Yeah. When you got to that point, it was, like, kind of normal eating. Yeah. Drinking right water, you should just be able to drink water and be fine. Yeah. For a That's day. That's early game stuff. You want to you be hungry and thirsty for the first couple days. Mm-hmm. Then you want to have it figured out. Right. You don't want to deal with it. Yeah. So Sunken Land's a real legitimate, like, uh, okay, as soon as we can start playing it, we probably will. I would definitely yeah. want that island thing to be implemented before we started. Oh, really? Yeah. You wouldn't play it until that. That's, I mean, that's taking I, over an island. Is, I kind of agree with fun. that. Yeah. yeah. Especially if we're all collectively, you know, we're going to want to, like, establish our Ooh. I don't think we can play and then get to that point but Maybe okay still looking at this there uh something else that's going to come they want to expand the game's vehicle roster by introducing new options like cargo boats and gunships mm -hmm. what? gunship Ooh. rolling gunship, in yeah that sounds fun oh imagine if you you don't have shit and you see one like coming up to your island and you're like ah that'd be horrifying yeah yeah uh, provide players with an extended character customization option, so that's coming. Uh, well, yeah, what's the character customization like? I couldn't tell. Cause Bare I was, bones? or I was playing in first person. Okay. And, uh, no, you know what? I found my clothes, so hopefully they have a lot of clothes. Like, I found a blue shirt, and I was like, all right, if Vapshow was here, you could have this blue shirt. Yeah, okay. But, yeah, I don't know how much there is yet. All right. So can I? Yeah, I'm excited to try it. Yeah, me too. I like the concept. Oh, yeah, I want to see what it looks like, the way you describe highways and everything under the water. Mm -hmm. Where, yeah, it's like, oh, there's there's the old world. Like, that's fun. Yeah, it looks cool. Yeah, and we got, like uh, it. yeah, we got codes, right? Yeah. Yeah, we're here. Yeah. Don't we're brag here. anymore. We're going to brag. I'm going to say, let's do this. We're really going to get in here. I, uh, I know where to take the next question. What? How was your birthday weekend, Absaro? It was it was nice because uh, it, it was it was quiet. 
And I had been having a lot of like uh, just louder weekends. So you you had a particular goal in mind. You were going to dabble in a new game. Oh, Starfield. And yeah, um, it's 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 a it's Fallout in space. But that's all. You, okay, it's all I wanted. Yeah, it's perfect. So I'm, I'm fine with it. Okay, okay I'm yeah. fine, with, fine it. with it. So you're not loving <laughs> wanna it. Hear more? No, I want to hear uh, more. I mean, I haven't played it enough to really, because, I mean, these games are huge. Yeah. Any yeah. time a Bethesda game comes out, it's like, all right, there's going to be a ton of things to do and a ton of mechanics, and it's just going to take me a while to get to. How many hours? Um, would you, would I probably guess? played about five hours okay. over the weekend. Just, you know, a little bit here, a little bit there. Mm-hmm. Uh, what I like the most so far, but I ha- and I haven't dived into it, is the shipbuilding. Yeah. Like, you can really go nuts with customizing your spaceship. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. And you, But you start off with something. Yeah. You start off with just, like, your basic bitch, just a, a ship you can use to get around. But as you go, like, again, I can't buy anything, but... Like, you can take that ship and go, all right, I'm going to take the cockpit, click, drag it off, and I'm going to buy this extra compartment and click, put that in, and then boom, put the cockpit on that. And then I'm going to buy a boom, a new shield generator and put that on top. And, uh, oh, I need a new engine on the side. Put that there. So they're all just modules that you can purchase. But they fit together and click together very well. And it's already like, all right, I can see myself really getting into this and making, like, the you know, the ship I fucking I've want. seen some cool ships. Yeah, that's pictures awesome. of them. Yeah. yeah. Is there a limit? Can you just make it like a mile, I have no idea. mile long? I mean, there's got to be. There's got to be like, okay, after 200 modules, you're done. One just long, straight, <laughs> pencil-looking ship. Yeah. I mean, I guess you could make Super it. Super long. I mean, long. why wouldn't you want it to try just for fun? I know I would. <laughs> like yeah. landing it on a, you know. It'd be you're... awful. <laughs> you don't even have to drive anywhere. It's, it's at both planets at yeah, the same you're right. time. Yeah, just run to the other yeah. side of the... <laughs> but yeah, those games are huge, and uh, it's it's already kind of daunting. But it like um yeah, I'm into it. But it feels like a Bethesda game. Like if you ever played Skyrim or Fallout, it's like okay, it operates very similar. Like it's that engine. It's like yeah, okay, it's a it's a Bethesda game. There's our Starfield review. That is uh, five hours. <laughs> That's in really review. all you need to know. You yeah. Go. Do you know what a Bethesda game is? And this that, is what this one of those. Is. Yeah. It's that in space. I'm fine mm-hmm. with it. Says Abstro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I expected more, but. Well, there, there's a big, you know, some people online, they're disappointed that you can't, like, get in your spaceship and do, like, No Man's Sky, where you fly from the surface of the planet into space. Okay. And do that. And I'm kind of like, I don't care. It does it right. Like, that's that's fun once. <laughs> it was impressive for for anyone who can pull it off, but it's not, like, necessary. No. Like, in my head doesn't think it is. And it's mm-hmm. like, Star Citizen does the same thing. It's like, yeah, you can go from the planet's surface to space. And they should do the same thing. Star Citizen should. Well, yeah. Well, Star Citizen is its own monster. But, exactly. see, that's the thing. That's why I don't play Star Citizen. Or, like, I, I'm like way more even intimidated by that. Because the people I've seen play, it's like, okay, let's hop on the ship. And let's go to this planet. It's like, okay, cool. Warp drives enable. All right. What now? It's like, well, it's going to take us five minutes to get to this planet. I'll go take a pool. Man, I miss fast travel. Mm. <laughs> it's nah. like, if I'm playing a video game, I, you know, I am, give me fast travel. It's the immersion, though. Some people really, really oh, want that Oh, I get it. And long. hey, you know, go for it. Go play Star Citizen. Like the Red Dead horse rides. Mm, yeah. Like. Oh, I get it. Now, yeah. listen, I love being immersed in a game, but I feel like I can do that in a Starfield without having to sit in my ship for 10 minutes if while you I travel. Riding a horse is nice. Like if you had some can like be. can be yeah can you can be. you could build or do inventory management or I mean you could do that yeah but you got to do that anyway okay. but I guess I think like uh, Pul- Pulsar kind of did that too but you can mm-hmm. skip the warp yeah you could yeah but you know during the traveling on Pulsar you could you know yeah you could do m- inventory management and just handle ship stuff make sure your ship's tip top shape oh Pulsar oh, I do that sometimes Pulsar. in seven days like it's be night and you're like yeah I'm too weak to go out right. We just straighten up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Got to do some inventory management. The best part. From the gas pump to the grocery store, your utility bills and your favorite streaming services. Inflation is everywhere. But thankfully, there's one company out there that's giving you a much needed break. And it's Mint Mobile. As the first company to sell premium wireless service online only, Mint Mobile lets you order from the comfort of your home and save a ton of cash. With phone plans starting at just 15 bucks a month. And we've used Mint service a lot. It's great. Never had a problem with the service. And the price is unbeatable for what you're getting. It's about a quarter of the price of my old service provider. But Mint Mobile does have a secret sauce. Because they are the first company to sell wireless service online only. 
They cut out the cost of retail stores and pass those sweet savings directly to you. Mint Mobile is here for everyone who hates their phone bill and wants premium wireless without getting grossly overcharged by big wireless. And all Mint Mobile plans come with unlimited talk and text and high-speed data delivery on the nation's largest 5G network. So to get your new wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month and get the plan shipped to your door for free, Go to mintmobile.com slash Neebs. That's mintmobile.com slash Neebs. Cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash Neebs. I tell you what, yeah, uh, seven days needs, uh, they just need to look at grounded and just take that system. Love being able to walk into just near your chest, hit a button. Oh, and just sucks everything out of you and just auto-organizes. What a time saver. Yeah. And also, is it the only game that, you can craft things while you're just by the bins as well. It's the same thing. It just it's not takes... the only game. No, oh, okay. yeah, but yeah. If at, if you're at the workstation, you don't have to have your stuff on, on you. you as long as it's in the bins. Yeah, the workstation will recognize it, and you can use it there. I like that. That's yeah. It's way better. It's how every game need to be. Damn it! And I think there's a mod for Seven Days that actually does that. And grounded like those people, didn't they say something about coming to maybe visiting on? One of their streams? Isn't that was that or am I getting that mixed up mm. with somebody else? It's the grounded devs. They reached out. Yeah. There. Okay. They did. That's fun. It's always nice to know that the people who make a game, especially a game that we happen to love, mm-hmm. is like, hey, yeah, guys, hey, cool. Yeah. You ever want to meet up? Whatever. Yeah, let's you know, hang jump out. in the let's play some games together. That sounds yeah, like fun. Sounds so fun. that's supposed yeah. to happen, I think. Maybe. And the, and the Sunken Lands people have been responsive. We've had Aztecia talking to them. Cool. Nice. That, that is cool whenever they're uh Reachable. I can only imagine what it's like um, being the devs. Like, well, I mean, we've obviously met many devs, Battlefield, tons of those guys and shit. But like right when your product drops, you know, You're that's right. got to be what an interesting time just in their minds and stuff. Mm-hmm. Like, ooh, hoping everyone loves it and like right. being yeah. worried about bugs, whatever your department might have been. Like, hopefully that all works out well. You know, it's just uh, what a what an interesting time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And it's uh it's interesting, different level of developers, too. Like yeah. something like EA, you know, this, the AAA, where there's so many damn departments. Oh, yeah. And it's 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 a nightmare just communicating between departments. They probably feel a lot. I mean, they some people will feel connected to it. But, like, yeah, the smaller dev teams, like, yeah. it's, that's your baby. Yeah, that's a whole different game. Yeah. But, man. The, and that launch can make or break it. really yeah. can. I mean, you know, but... Yeah, geez. You think of some, some of these, de- like that BattleBit game. I think three guys made that. Yeah. And they sold, like... 10 million copies? Something something crazy. Crazy. Might not have been, yeah, but they'll be fine for the rest of their lives. Do you, yeah, uh, based on this game. Do you have any details on them, whether or not, like, where they are in the world? And, no, no clue. You know, hmm. No idea. Mm-hmm. What they eat. Mm, yeah, whether or not they're, you know, like, teenagers yeah. or, you know, like, been in the in the gaming thing for 30 yeah. years and they just happen to hit a good idea. I, that's I always, I always, I always am endeared, and I love that story, though, just, you know, a dude or dudes in their basement. Mm-hmm. Just making something, putting it out there, and boom, it hits, and sets yep. them up for life. Like that's awesome. They put the work in; they deserve it. Mm-hmm. Like that. Uh, what is it? Stardew Valley. Oh, that whole game was made by one guy. Wow, that's, and that's, that's so a good vision. Yeah. popular. One guy. It sold so many copies. Well, mm-hmm. look at Minecraft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's insane. Love What'd it. you get, Anthony? Oh, roll on in. Roll Ooh, on in. We all got some sushi. giant sushi. Hey, hey, you're eating supper early. Ooh. It's only, it's not even five o'clock. I guess he's not eating dinner with us. No. This is breakfast. Yeah. We didn't have lunch today, today me and Anthony. Uh-oh. No. Mm-mm. Oh, now Poppy's interested. Oh, pa- in... oh, yeah. Poppy's. Oh, hey, Anthony. What you, well, hey. Oh, Anthony. Hey, hey huh? are you, will you be my best friend? I noticed you got food. Man, this morning. Oh, I had to run my girl to the, uh, to the airport. She's down in Miami for work a couple days. And, um, and we've got our little, our little zoo. At the house now, you know. <laughs> and you're uh, all, you're all animals with the animals. And, and my pup, Emily, she had the shits. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Oh, it was mm. everywhere. No. Brand new apartment. Oh. Did the Roomba get it? No, the, we threw that Roomba <laughs> away because that got a different shit. This was, uh, and that was a cat one. Oh, <laughs> Not that it's just like it was stuck to the fur. <laughs> and uh, that was unfortunate <laughs> with the Roomba. Rest in peace, Niles. This but, uh, room would just oh, smear man. Catch oh, the spatter. At least it was all on the hardwood shit, but... Mm. 
<laughs> animals, poppy. Animals always fun when you gotta clean up their liquidy shit, or when you gotta like pull shit out of their ass when it's stuck. That's always another fun one. And well, I, I busted. We we solved the great mystery uh, last oh. night, because um, there was like spattered cat food, which is up on the kitchen counter, like and whatever. It was kind of on the wall, and we're like, "What the hell? How are they making that mess?" So I was sitting out on the porch last night. And I heard like a ding, like um, like two plates kind of hitting each other. Right. And just look back, and there's Emily. She's a long, lanky one, you see. She could reach the cat food. I'm like, how long have you been pulling this shit off? How much cat food? Because I remember Gab saying like, boy, the cat food's been gone like a bunch. Like, you know. The cats are getting real thin. Yeah, and they're. <laughs> and I've been like, Emily's pooping a lot. Right. Um, and a little bit more winded playing Frisbee. <laughs> <laughs> so Emily's been scoring a ton of wet cat man. food. Wow. And man, she paid the price today. Oh. I paid the price. Fucking God. that's right. <laughs> so I'm going to, when we're done recording this, I'm going to boogie back because I got a letter out and stuff like that. And I'm just crossing my fingers. There's not a whole nother spattering. <sighs> little shit. That's a bad dog. Little shit. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, good times. Comes with the terror. Well, potentially. Yeah, comes I with wish. The I wish everybody listening could see this right now. Just Poppy going up, and say hey to everybody, Making the jumping rounds. in, jumping right, in Dora's Poppy. lap. Dora's holding her paws. Poppy was licking. You know, how dogs see wounds right away and they go to licking. Mm. Yeah. What is Poppy again? Dots and poodle. Dots and poodle. A doodle. All right. People are yeah, always always loving on her, going like, oh, what is. What is mm -hmm. that? Mm -hmm. Oh my god, your dog's so cute. You know what? I don't want to be like. You know what? Leave me the fuck alone. Yeah. Fuck you. So yes. that's assholes. So that's fight. <laughs> fight or flight them. Yeah. Or just yeah. walk fight. away. Yeah. Fight. Leave me and my fucking dog alone. There's no other option. Mm -mm. <laughs> mm -mm. <sighs> yeah. No, it is. It is nice. I was away from her just for a few few days, and the end, I'm freaking I miss her. Yeah. Used to being around her. Mm -hmm. Man, I saw God, I saw a dog this weekend. It was like too cute to exist. It was a corgi. Mm -hmm. Like a little corgi. Man, corgis, they, they ought to be illegal. Yeah. Lord. Nothing nothing should be that damn cute. I hate it. I yeah, hate, I like corgis and I'm not I don't like small dogs. I mean I like them, but I wouldn't want one. <laughs> right. But I'd I'd probably have a corgi. Yeah, yeah corgi. Saw one walking around. Yeah, I went to Southport this weekend. Had my cousin in town, took him down to Southport. But yeah, I saw a corgi and I was like, My God, that thing's too cute. Mm -hmm. mm -mm. People mm -mm. who love their corgis, like I've seen probably eight stickers on cars talking about how mm -hmm. much I love my corgi. And how that so, dog get the word, like uh, it's the only one, the word sploot, which many dogs and cats do, but it's like is, specific for corgis. It is? Apparently that word is. Sploot? No. Splooting? When like they're just Poppy sprawled does. out, all legs oh, out, okay, flat yeah, on their call, stomach. Okay, that's called a sploot. Sploot. Gotcha. Like Poppy will sploot in front of the door when Simon's using the bathroom. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right, and she and she sploots all over the place. But I did not know that was a corgi term. Apparently, it's corgi term. specific, but everyone's using it because they didn't have another word for them. You know. Yeah. So you steal the sploot. <laughs> it works as a word, sploot. Yeah. Yeah. Sploof also kind of makes sense, doesn't Sploof? it? Sploof. It does to me. I think Spliff. I might have thought it was to spliff. spliff for me. Yeah. Snipers sploot when they're like on top Snipers of buildings. Snipers do sploot. Yeah. yeah spliff is like a file. joint. Oh, so it's a thing. A sploot. Yeah. So kind of where I'm they sure don't. That's a military term. Where they don't sploot is like if they're holding a rifle, their elbows are touching, whereas a sploot is like everything flat to the ground. Their exactly. legs are straight back. Yeah. Mm hmm. Well, their arms, but their arms yeah. are. Up. I think it's mostly the back legs, isn't it? No, it's all. Yeah, I think you no. might be right. Okay, well, I'll look that up. So if a corgi's mm -hmm. holding a rifle, he's not splitting anymore? If corgi's... No, Great see, question. she's doing it right now, too. She's got both of her arms out. <laughs> Let's see if she's... <laughs> it's silly looking. It really yeah. is. It's it's adorable looking. Yep, it is. Spl oh, we got another word, too. All right. Oh, and it doesn't even say corgi here. So that might have been bullshit. I might have totally lied some, to everyone. Some corgi like elitist is like, you know, it's a mm, corgi. It's just a corgi. Use so here, corgi. in oh, case man. you haven't been on the internet, splooting, aka frogging, okay. oh, which makes perfect sense, is when a dog or cat lies flat on their belly with their hind legs stretched out straight behind them rather than tucked in beneath their torso. I, I have like, a lot of misinformation. When I like about frogging. Snipers? Frogging, I like that a lot. I'm looking at this right here, like, oh, she's frogging. frogging. Makes yep. perfect sense. Yep. She looks frogging. just like it too. I'm, I'm, I'm abandoning splooting. Okay, I'm going with frogging. You have that mm -hmm. right. No one's gonna understand you. 
My dog was frogging. They're not going to get it, you don't think? I think that could mean, isn't it kind of like when you go gigging too? Like for frogs or... Oh, I they, thought you were talking about doing a, like a band thing when you said gigging. <laughs> no, uh, gig is like you're trying gigs. to catch them. Yeah. Right? Yeah, frog And gigging. apparently no one uses that for me. Like when I was growing up, that was giving someone the finger. And gigging? None of, and none of you think oh, that's... Oh, I think I've heard that before. From me, probably. Gigging? Yeah, probably from yeah, you. I think we've talked about this in podcasts. Yeah, I guarantee Gigging? You. I just, the guy just gig me. <laughs> what I do? <laughs> do nothing? <laughs> It's like you Man. needed a single right. syllable something to yeah. explain flicking off or Look, I don't know where it came from. That's just I heard it growing up and I right. thought that was a thing. Yeah. It gives the gig economy a whole new meaning. It does. You never know what you say wrong when you grow up somewhere. And then you travel especially <laughs> that, if you're from a small true. town. Yeah, we've talked yeah, we've talked a lot about this. Absolutely. Way too I just much, said, really. I, yeah, we have. Too much. I just said radiator the other day and said then it switched it to radiator. Yeah. That's an accent, though. It's not Radiator. Like a, it's not like a whole word wrong, you know? Yeah. A word that no one uses. It's true. Like, I thought cherry tomatoes were Tommy Toes. I assume somebody else says that, but most people don't. That one's one you, that might you might have all to yourself. Tommy Toes. Well, mom says With it. cherry tomatoes? Yeah. Specifically, not tomatoes. I could see tomatoes being Tommy Toes. Tommy mm-hmm. Toes. You know, because it sounds know. like a tomato. Tommy Toes right is tomato. <laughs> <laughs> well, my grandparents had an interesting name for walnuts. I'm not oh. saying it here, but it was blank toes. Mm-hmm. And it was like, God damn. <laughs> yeah. 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 That was, they said that just yeah, consistently. Yep. That was the they, name I for think them. they stopped at some point. I mean, yeah. No, yeah. Well, your parents, your grandparents aren't around anymore. No, no, no. Yeah. So they stopped at some point. <laughs> yeah. They, they stuck to it. <laughs> exactly. When they died, they stopped. Poppy. She's yeah, Poppy, as soon as she gets near you, she just jumps on her back yeah. instantly. Dog's a slut, Simon. I know. She just wants love. <laughs> um, she could become of, famous around here, man. She's too cute. She would have easily more people following her on Twitter than me, for sure. Oh, no, you got to go Instagram. Instagram for yeah. her. No, you got to blast that dog out on Instagram. Should I start? Should I officially start it and launch it right here Instagram in the podcast? Account? I mean, why not? See, and it could be linked to our, or it could be like linked to the Neebs Gaming, right? Yeah, you should. So in I, some way, shape, or form. But then I'd have to take pictures. But yeah, because I really thought about kind of doing it with M, but with her frisbee skills and stuff. And you guys should compete. I mean, yeah, which dog can get the most followers? Oh, yeah. and then oh, and the one that doesn't will kill itself. <sighs> What? Why do you have to go there? <laughs> Why? Why? Because a dog would never kill itself. Yeah, that's true. why it's funny. Oh, okay, so gotcha. Wouldn't know how. It works yeah. out, right? Yeah. It does not. It's because it's not going to care. Nah, dogs don't have that in them. No. I don't know. I did have an uncle who had a Dalmatian that jumped out of a window, in a moving vehicle. That wasn't intentional, though. No, no, it was, was accidental. Probably, it just saw and a rabbit or something. Yeah. It's going to sound awful too, but yeah, I had a friend of mine, Dave, and everyone made fun of him because they said it was so horrible to live at his house that even his dog killed himself because. The, <laughs> <laughs> because because his dog, it was awful. This was many years ago. I'm not making light of it, but it really happened. And we had the leash on him in the backyard, tried to jump the fence. Oh, no. Yeah, which was awful, obviously. That sucks. Poor oh. fella. Ah. But, you know, it was, it was in the 70s. So it was just so long ago, you could almost just, it's okay. Yeah, we're right. over it. Right, right. We're over it. Hanging with but it was awful. Buffett now. Right? Had to say hanging, huh? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no. This is the Jesselnik kind of humor, but not even really. I love it. But yeah. I love it. Shit. If you haven't seen the man, uh, a man named Otto. Yeah. Yeah. Has everyone seen it? God, I have. Dude, that's the, I, that's we the one that I no. cried on the plane. We talked about it. No. We talked that was my plane story. Didn't see it. The hanging, okay, but the hanging scene is probably the funniest scene in the movie. Just, I, just watch it. I like the hanging scene. I liked the train scene. Yeah. Okay. okay. There's a lot of good. I scenes. need to see this movie. No, you don't. <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> no, it's well done, but man, it's it's, it's, right. it's, it's trying to milk good, the tears okay. out of you. It tries to squeeze yeah. every freaking tear you've ever had. Mm, but it's okay. funny. It's funny too. It's got I'm a Mr. giggle or two. I know his game. <sighs> I saw Dunier this weekend. Dunier? Yep. What is she doing? She's uh, still hanging out in Charlotte. She was in town, and then uh, 
we went like all right. I didn't plan on going out, but I haven't seen Dunier in years. This is this is a friend. See, we you should tell people. It's I a mean, very particular friend. It is a particular yeah. Yeah. friend. Friend. She used to go camping with us. Yeah. Yes. She used to be in a band of mine. That's right. My last oh, yeah. band. She's That's connected right. everybody here. Yeah. And mm-hmm. um, just lets one of us know when she's in town. Well, I'm her favorite. Right. So um, I was like, all right. Yep. I tell you what. We're gonna. My wife found this thing uh, at Waterline. They have like. Latino night or something. Okay. There was a Wilma Ricans Puerto Rican food truck was out there. Okay. There was a Venezuelan food truck and they were doing salsa dancing. So I'm like, all right, let's do it. I've had that Venezuelan truck. Yeah, it's yeah. good. Very good. Okay. So anyway, they came out. Uh, they came out there. We did a little bit of salsa dancing. Then they had like a dinner planned. I've never been to Wine Not. Have you? Are you familiar with that place? I've never been there. It's what? It's it's Wine Not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this. So we have an old, it was like an old, it's called the Merkinson Building. It's an old building. It was like an old bank. It's probably, what, 12 stories tall? Yeah. 10, something and like that. there's a shit ton of um, little cell phone, like satellite dishes up on top. It's right? crazy up there. Anyway, here's, here's how I found out about it. Um, my wife and I are walking down, uh, what do you call that, Water Street? Okay. And we have these ambassadors. Um, People that follow you around? Uh, they're just they're just around the city. I think they're volunteers, and they answer questions, and they kind of help with directions, and they just, you know, help out the the tourists and people just hanging out downtown. I live downtown, never seen one. Wow, that, I, was I, making, I, I, I thought you were you joking. About? I thought you were kidding. Ambassadors. So. I've I've seen these in other cities. Like in Phoenix is the first time I saw one. People with a little like reflective vest on, and you see one like, hey, you need help with anything? Help you show you around, get some. You know, ideas of what to do. Never okay. seen one of these downtown. No, okay. okay. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, lives downtown. What the hell? What do you? He might okay. have just been a guy, a crazy guy with a vest. I don't know. Maybe. But right. I'm an ambassador, and I'll tell you what's your future. Yeah, did he give himself that title? <laughs> yeah. The, okay. No, I think it's a thing. I think the city came up with it. Carry but, on. Uh, anyway, he's like, uh, did you know there's a there's a bar on the ninth? I think it was the ninth floor of the Murkison building That's called Why, why Not? Know. And I'm like, no, what? You got to take this the elevator up there, floor? and it just looks like you're walking through some hallways and stuff. And then yeah. there's this little place back there with a bar, and you can you can get a membership. You get... I don't know. There's a, like access to different Tell rooms. Rico sent you. Yeah. But well, yeah, cool really? spot. What night were you there? Saturday. You might. I, we were down in the ta- poor tap room. Probably right above you. Yeah. Because yeah, it's right there beside it. You, yeah. you go to the door to the right of that. Yeah. And then we went down to uh, under. That other under place. Under front. Uh, Used to be fire bellies. Yeah. That place is cool. It yeah. looks good in there. I mean. No food anymore, though, I don't right. think. Right, right, Well, man, y'all bounced all over the place. Yeah, and uh, listen, my wife goes to bed super early, and she was out till one thirty. Wow. Damn. I couldn't believe it. What was the occasion? Y'all just Cocaine. having fun? Seeing Dunier. Okay, yeah, hanging just hanging Dunier. out. Yeah, very nice. Glad you had fun. Yep. Yeah, maybe next time tell somebody. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I no, live like a block away, else. but it's not a big deal. That's no. right. No, right. Well, well she invited me out. I didn't want to All right. Yeah, yeah, invite yeah. you guys. She wouldn't want to see us. No. Nah, I get it. Don't blame her. She doesn't even know me, really. I mean, it's true. We've met, but yeah, I've yeah. only met her once, well, twice. Yeah, I true. like her. I think she's nice. I've heard good things. Appreciate the brag story, though. Yeah, yeah. good sounds for like, you. Good for like you guys. guys. Had a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah, sounds yeah, like yeah. you have friends in the life. Yeah. Good for you. Oh. I was in New York. I had some pizza. Good for you. Hmm. Did you visit friends up there? I did. Okay. And I ate a lot of good food, and I hung out with my brother for five days straight, and it was something. Did you see? <laughs> Tommy, your best friend. I did. I saw some friends. I saw a Tommy. It was his birthday weekend. So it timed out. Now, how much time did you spend with Tommy? How much Tommy time? I stayed there three nights with my brother because my brother and him go way back too. Okay. You so, know. So after three three consecutive nights with Tommy, how how does Tommy rate to us? <laughs> how what? How like I think rate? maybe you just like Tommy because you don't see him a lot. Like he's my yeah, best no, friend. Yeah, no, no, no. Like, I like. I think I, you're around us all the time. Yeah. What if you had to be like around Tommy guys. every week? No, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> Thank God for Siobhan though. <laughs> Siobhan's great. Yeah, Siobhan's She's wonderful. an angel. Yeah, he really likes. And out everything's with her. and actually it's yeah they're they're, they're the best you know like hosts. Mm-hmm. Who, who's Siobhan? His wife. His wife. Oh, okay, gotcha. Got She's you. absolutely delightful, and oh. and and they're um, these are friends of mine that I've had since I was uh, like thirteen and fourteen, both of them. Yeah, and then they happened to get like married. Twenties, huh? Yeah, Rare. so yeah, in the nineteen, tw- it was the nineteen teens. Yeah, actually, <laughs> yeah, the automobile had just dropped. Right. My God, we're so old. 
anyway, yeah, just old friends. So yeah, no, you guys are great, and thank you for for dealing with me. <laughs> hey, speaking of old stuff, I found out the other day. I don't know where it is. There's some people building a castle, and they're building it with like castle time tools. And what is this place called? Sounds like a was YouTube it a reality channel. show? Yeah, it, was, because... it sounds like some shit Mr. Beast is doing. It's like, no, we're I... building a castle, then we're gonna Listen, blow man. it up with a Minecraft creeper. No, it takes more time than just a month. To <laughs> if they this. had a show, because yeah. I watched the reality show a few years back of a family and of a guy that was building a castle, full on like castle, but he was like living out there for real and building this shit for years, and he was building it with his family specifically for a while until the family started leaving. Left him. But, you know, they were eventually going to leave. Probably anyway. left him because he's building a castle. <laughs> yeah. Right? yeah. That, that sounds very resource intensive. Yeah. Uh, yeah, oh, a, yeah. A lot of hours, a lot of ignoring family. And yeah. it was a show, though, too. So you were watching these people, like, kind of, you know, interact. And I'm like, well, obviously some of this is real because there's a half-built castle in the woods. Yeah. They might even have been using rudimentary tools as well. Did he say that? Yeah, they're doing that. Yeah, yeah, which is, is obviously a whole, yeah, yeah. a whole big challenge on its own, aside right. from this weird thing that you're doing. And anyway, when it's all built, yeah. uh, and you order your shit on Ikea and yeah. furnish Ooh. it. It was, it was almost like they were building it like it was a castle slash this is a bunker type thing of like when the shit goes down. Okay. So they'll Stronghold. be able to have, and I think there was shit underneath, so they could go underneath, but they actually have a castle around it. All right. And there's a bunker underneath. Oh, and the hot oil, all the stuff. <laughs> they <laughs> they, they, they might have, might get that incorporated in. You never know. I think this is in France, and I think the castle is called Getalon. Getalon Castle. Spell that. This is definitely G not what U I watched. E with an accent. D E L O N. Getalon. Okay. Getalon. Getalon Castle. Castle. But yeah, that'd be cool to see. Yeah, that'd be neat. You probably mm. learn a lot from that. Like going, okay, what are we? What kind of problems are we running into? Yeah, with our castle. Yeah, that's awesome. What a cool project. And it's going to take, I don't know how long it's going to take. You know what we should do? 1997, they started building it. Oh, damn. Huh? All right. Yep. Um, you know, we got Castle Hain near us, but there's no castle there that used to be. Could use it. We, sh we should build a new castle. You're probably right. Castle Hain needs a real castle. Yeah. That would be cool. There used Doesn't to have be... to be a big castle. It's, no. It needs a castle. Shouldn't take us more than 50 years. Yeah, exactly. We start now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think we could do it. All right, I'm in. Yep, let's I'm do a, it. I'm oh, is it? Is everybody finished alone? Alone. Yeah. The the latest season. Yeah. 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 All right, yeah. we've all finished. Yeah. I finished it last night. Okay. <laughs> After I was like, I thought I'd never get through it. <laughs> you did it. No, the last few episodes were good because it got whittled down to three people. For sure. It's like, okay, now now it's more interesting. Uh, yeah. So yeah. what did you think? <laughs> <laughs> no spoilers. I, I was happy he won. Oh. He did real good. He caught all the feet. <laughs> so it is a spoiler. No, nah, nah, I'm glad he made it. It was, it was, uh, it was a fun when, season. When uh, Dali says no spoilers, what do you think that means? Because <laughs> after that, no, you spoilers. said he won. Sorry, we've yes. spoiled alone. Okay. Spoiled Not the best season of Alone. No. Or which one? No. Yeah, the, the cast wasn't as interesting this season as previous seasons, in my opinion. Like uh, Colton, like no, no one's going to top Colton in my head. That, that guy was oh, amazing. Oh, dude, he yeah. was kind hey, of bear. <laughs> hey, bear. Just naked. In his boat. Uh, yeah. His boat was awesome. <laughs> it was. Yeah. But uh, yeah, still fun show, still fun show. Yeah, yeah. no, I, I really enjoy that series. I hope they keep doing them. Yep. Is it a million or is it a half a million? Half a million, half which kind of blows dollars. my mind. It's like today, that's nothing crazy. It isn't even that crazy, but no. it's enough for every one of them to go. Especially the a lot of these people live very simply. A lot of them. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And, oh yeah, which that's is a great change. And that sure. is a very like yeah. It is oh, a it's chunk nothing. Of change. To, yeah. Yeah, but no yeah. the show's not like crazy popular either, though. I guess so. there's that's a big Is it not? Because I just assumed I mean, it we was watch pretty it. darn popular. I think popular. Everyone watch it. We might be the only well, ones. Well, it's watching. on. No, I mean, it's on. And everyone who tries out for the right? show. <laughs> Anybody I talk to it about goes, What's that? And I have to explain it. So, yeah. okay. There you go. Yeah. Well, I wonder what that show's budget is. It's at least half a million dollars. I mean, insurance is most of it. <laughs> yeah, no, that's, that's, that's the. Right. The initial. I mean, they got helicopters and boats and. Mm hmm. 
So, and I assume they have to keep those things on standby. You would imagine. Like they have to rent them for. It's a service, I yeah. would think. It's just like you're calling a cab. You're calling and saying, all right, we got to pull somebody out of this area. So yeah. they have all these set prices and yeah. all the insurance is set up. And they got to the be ready. The cost of all the equipment. Oh, yeah, that's a thing. It's they, editing, they be, though. Yeah. They, yeah, they got to be ready, but they're on call just like anybody else. And you got like, the services like in that area. They're probably service. very thankful to have, like, what a fun gig for them, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. while they're in town. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, nah, it's still a neat idea. It's fun watching these people try to survive in that environment. Yeah. And none of them can do it long term. It's like, I, I don't think I've seen anyone in that show. Because they, they obviously do that for a reason. They stick them in a place you know they're going to fail eventually. At the worst time of year. Yeah, yeah, for yeah. sure. That's a huge part of it. They need the uh, the, all those resources yeah. to If they put disappear. them in there in spring, they'd probably like just load yeah, up on stuff. Yeah, if you could and... stockpile. Yeah, they don't have time to stockpile. Have y'all ever canned anything? I've never canned anything. I have anything. never canned one damn thing in my life. We should do that. I don't know why. So in case oh, no 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 but like why See, would I you? know Simon he's like because Simon has been saying for years this stuff's gonna fall apart but oh it's it's going down and we're gonna need a bunker <laughs> we're, gonna <cast> <laughs> we're gonna need what a bunker yeah well I mean it won't be bad but uh, I mean it won't be it would be good to have a bunker but I'm beginning to think just die the first day or two that's You're, kind of where my head's at that's yeah, a, yeah like I like if that. the bombs drop I kind of want to be under it I kind of I kind of yeah. do too yeah it's just like I don't want to deal with that I'm alright with that. that it's like yeah. oh, I'm gonna give it a go okay yeah go for it so all four of us don't know how to can food I assume you put it in a can and take out the air that's Dralis' answer Aptro how would you can food oh man I'd find a can on the side of the road and put food in it <laughs> it's technically staple canning staple that shit shut that should work the stapler yeah <laughs> Simon I would, I, I don't, what, what Doris said sounded good. Okay, well, when I see canned food, it's usually in liquid. Okay. With a, so it's no usually air. a glass jar with a metal lid with like a gasket, rubber gasket. So yeah, I, th- I, what that's I think jarring do, when I think, isn't there two different things or are they both the it's same? It's called canning. That's a thing. Yeah, it is. Okay. It is. But Even it's though just it's in lack a jar. of, there's zero oxygen in there. Like, yes. You know, and you could yeah. do that with like water. Like you, you put the, you put the, I've, d- I've done some jarring things where you just, don't you take them and boil them? I've seen grandma do that. So I think yeah. that's what you do. I think you fill it with water. I think you put your vegetables in there. And then I don't know if they add anything, salt or vinegar or anything else. Yeah. But then you put the lid back on. I think you boil it. That okay. kills everything in the jar. All right. And I think you just stick it vacu- in your basement. And it just kind of, it makes it, it, gives you that seal. But I'm not sure. See, we don't really know. And there's people who know or scream. That are listening right, right now. There you go. That's how you'd maybe do it. For right. For those but, of you wondering. But why don't, why, you said you want us to do it. Why don't we do a, a canning video? <sighs> Here we go. We're going to break the internet. Oh, did you look it up? Yeah. yeah okay. I'm just curious. How you do it? Uh, we'll sterilize your gear, uh, place lids in a small pot. And uh, cover with hot but not boiling water. Uh, prep the canner. Fill your canner half full with fresh water and bring to a boil. Wait, and the vegetables are already in it? I, I guess. Okay. Well, hold on. Maybe this might not be the best guide. This is like the first thing that came up. Uh, the number three is fill with food. That's the food. after the water's halfway. Yeah, all right. Mm. So, yeah, I guess in the can, you fill it up halfway with water and then bring that to a boil. Which is a jar. Yeah, or a jar. Yep. And then you fill it with food. And then you measure careful, carefully. Top the jars. Uh, add bands uh, just until tight. Uh, load canner. Process the jars. This is, by the way, the most... Yeah, I don't know why we're closing with it. I don't know yeah, why. We de- I, devolved into talking about how do you can But bands. I don't understand how we put water in a jar. Like, in the jar, if like I've canned jelly before, and you don't put water in the jar. You put all the jelly and the jam inside the jar, and then somehow you seal it and then put it in some hot water that might be different. some way. I'm that might sure be different. jam and vegetables are different. Okay, I yeah. Just, I just want this to stop. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, someday. When someday. Out, someday right. we Wilderness. might need, you're you're right. need this. Canning. This saves your life. Yeah, Ooh. I'll be looking for the bomb and running right to the bottom of it. This is why dude you know, called me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is that it? Yeah. yeah. That's it. That, was, that was wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice canning story. Thank you story. so much, everyone, for being <laughs> yeah, thank, here. Thank you. <laughs> thank thank you. you. We owe you. <laughs> we owe you so much. <laughs> we'll give you some canned peas. Damn right. See y'all next time.